I follow the morning light that beams on Sculpture Plaza, one path which leads to the Museum of Contemporary Art in Los Angeles. Today, I'm visiting the permanent collection at the MoCA. Chamberlain, living in New York, chaos, bus war, automotive deconstructed, burrows of sculptures, disheveled steel. The main room lashes everything at me suddenly, Wolfer in two pieces by Franz Klein strike me, Klein an early favorite. It's invigorating to see a piece in color. Studied Sai Twombly, fiercely clashing mythological pop philosophy. The blackboard's bleakness resonates more than simple pop. An inner struggle. Heart that jumps out, surrounded, consumed, taunting me. Giving Sunside D time to shine from a distance, face to face, faulty. Suddenly relieved by 60 plaster surrogates. Playful, whimsical nostalgia. Frames to fill your imagination. Refuge from darkness or casting you into it. Most film directors don't operate the camera. Baldessari didn't act in the scene, but told his story. I'm Alice in Wonderland, and both sides are the same. Which should I choose? Definitely an American cigar had to show Cuba ours was bigger. Two things Americans are obsessed with, nudity and violence. Oh, Diane, Deanne, Silver Spoon, not enough. A pessimist judges on silver prints. We can agree their life you couldn't understand. Still, I indulge, but the beat goes on. Chris Burden's Hellgate drives me into the next room, where I can appreciate paintings close up with the sharp eye I must face to absorb eminent detail. I want to strike this serpentine little light like a piano string. Harmonious function, melodic, austere beauty. The action brings us sound. Collectively seeking answers, recontextualizing to engineer independent meaning. Communion. Ellsworth Kelly's blue-green curve lingers with me. Large scales, scales of color, I stand inside his cocoon. I wish I could be transported to this magical room any time my heart desired. As an adolescent, Rothko was the first artist whose pieces truly made me feel, hypnotized me. A guttural response that transitions from bliss to anger. I'm coddled like an infant because someone understands me. Warhol and Rosenquist side by side, intellectual stimulation, witty, indicative. Chew it up and spit it out even more presentable than it was before. Pleasure 
without emotion. Pollock, madman, genius, two men of different worlds sharing an existential crisis. I feel someone looking at me, looming, something unattainable, Giacometti's internal struggle in understanding the feminine and feminine desire, perennial masterpieces side by side. This is The Gaze.